Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Lamalana 2, and last time we went to hell. What does that mean? It means a lot of things. It means that I spent some time. Okay. One thing I've noticed is that at the entrance of hell, there is. I think my best bet is to go through Valhalla. There is a big statue, you know, dedicated to Skeleton and Alien, but with a big golden feather at the top. Now, I've read, so last, well, yesterday, basically, I spent some amount of time reading back anything I could find that had anything to do with anything that could be confused with hell. And one thing, you know, and like the underworld and stuff, and like, everyone remembers that I found in Dark Star Zone, uh, I think I want, oh shoot, no, I think it was, I think it's this, right? Uh, in Darkstone, there there is that big uh, balance. You know, the big old, like, like, just like this big, fancy, giant, like, balance. I think I'm gonna need this. And, uh, like, to, to measure things. And yeah, there are notes that talk about the concept of measure, like, weighting your heart in the afterlife. Especially since you got that, like, do what, boo what. Everyone sing a song together thing like in the underworld She was has a lot of cavities. So anyway something that I barely understand or remember, but I remember reading and uh, See she's talking about the prison too. Everyone's just talking about the eternal prison. Yeah, so uh... No, but I don't know if this was new or not Anyways, point is, I was reading notes, especially around here, to see if there's anything about that, um, about that particular thing. The e old, uh, pyramid. And lo and behold, I was reminded of a text that, you know, like, remember how there's something about uh, a fight, like a monster that resides uh, in the garden? in a great garden, and this place is called Garden of the Stars. Well, that thing further goes in the saying that the monster is sealed by the stars, and do you know what releases the seal? That's right, they mentioned the crystal with the pyramid inside. All this time, this had been something I could have done. Oh, jeez! There's Amit. Amit? Really? Okay, uh... I didn't expect you to- yeah, I'm gonna- <laughs> Isn't Ahmed the name of the crocodile that gets mentioned in the- in the text about, like, Ahmed is the one that eats you if your soul weighs more than what's-his-face's feather? Alright. I don't know if that guy's gonna be in the way. Let's go more like on the edge. Yeah, okay. That's a good tongue. Like, what's my hit? Oh, I, I just hit you? But I hit your face. Ah! Oh, that's weird. Uh, that's wrong button. Can I block? Yes. Dang it, I press. I repress shield for some reason. Should be safe. Then I can hit him. All right. I don't know what hit me there. I'm... Ah, dang it! I pressed the button. Okay, that guy's got. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the save point down the checkpoint that's underneath him. Uh oh. All right. I don't need you here, chicken. Ah, dang it! Why'd I do that? I don't know! And I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Okay. Wait, but... Yeah, I'm just dead because that stupid bird man was in the way. Back. How? Well, now I'm dead. Yeah. Like, I don't understand his pit zone. Uh. No, this is bad. I needed to go underneath them. Sometimes shenanigans like that happen, and I'm like, 
Like, this guy's just got giant hitboxes that you can't really see. And you just take a billion damage. Like, there, like, ah! Feels like it's all about knowing where you can stand. Like, you want to be able to hit him on the snout, but you don't want him to be able to, like, touch you when he does any sort of movement at all whatsoever. I think it's just best to play it real safe. Because he's allowed to make all the mistakes, you are not. So just play it real safe. There you go. Ah, oh, he just looks so happy though. What an adorable, terrible monster. I wasn't sure. Oh, I mean, if to save, then I can just stay here. Whoops, that's nah, fine. Uh, but now things have started to move, by which I mean he has started to move. His little uh, ghost friends are respawning. They're just like hanging out underneath his tail. So yeah, now here, this is not working out. That's fine. Bird guy's back, but hopefully it shouldn't matter. I don't know, man. That's just kind of like, they're pretty passive. They're just kind of doing their thing, really, in the sky. I'm gonna miss entirely. Oh, that's sad. Well, I mean, he's dead, though. Like, uh, dead it! Chopped off his face! And that didn't open this chest. It did open this chest. Hey! The vessel! I remember that. We're gonna put some medicine in it. Because I'm scoop liquid. Finally, all my dreams come true. So I don't know why you'd want to come here or anything. I just knew that that was a thing I was thinking about for a while. And, uh... I did it. <laughs> Yeah, so that took a little bit, but yeah, let's go check out that big balance thing. Like, I remember just kind of retreating from it because the dragon, like, just snapped at me, but, like, I don't know why I just... Like, I remember my immediate, um, response was, oh, you need time stop. Like, probably not. There's a lot of places up to now that I was like, oh, it's probably time stop. There was no time stopping. No one required the stoppage of any time. So let's go and take a more serious look. That's over there. Look at that cat. It's looking very worried. Well, there's no more dinosaurs, so... Oh, he's all the way there now! Oh! Huh. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing there? Man, all this money. Alright, what do you want? Judgment Road abandoned before Matt. Okay, Matthew. To prepare for Dungeons to have a wicked heart, an innocent heart knows no wickedness, an innocent heart can balance the scales, the undead Emit will render judgment. Oh, wait, so I have to kill Emit so that he would be undead and hang out there, and there's Anubis. Yeah. So, are you egg-worthy? I'm surprised you're not. Wait, so... So you go on the thing, and if you're lighter than the chest, probably. It's not chomping? It's not chomping. I mean, I just saved it. Let's. Oh no, it just moves on its own. Hey, look at that. I'm pretty even. <laughs> Wait, huh? Okay, this is real stupid, but hear me out. There's something I want to try. Ever since I talked to that gookin' looking old man here, 
who's here to either steal all your money or all your weights. I honestly wonder... Well, okay, I've basically been priming myself as, okay, there's gonna be an occasion at some point where you need to have either no money or no weights. Is that the thing? You render yourself weightless, and then at the club, they're like, crocodiles like, way happy? Because if that's the case, that's really funny, and it's totally... Like, I feel like this is me using my experience with the game that they call La Mulana. Because that's totally... Well, that's the kind of thing they do in the... in the... in, in the... in the Hell Temple. Not in the main game. But here we are. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna have to rescan things, but... I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't think it tallies your scams or anything. Oh, gee, that's a lot of money. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I got my scan here. Whoa. Alright, let's see if that works. I have... I have weightless. There is no weight on my heart. Nor in my pockets. Huh? Huh? Ha! 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 Yes! Oh, that's too good! <laughs> Alright, let's go buy some weights, I guess, at this point. Like, I'm not buying that harp for now. I wanna buy... so many weights. Oh, I had so I had a lot more money than I thought. But no, like, I feel bad if... Like, I want at least 50 money. Like, that's just... That is a prerequisite for me to feel comfortable. That's just how it is. Ah, oh, man. So yeah, like I said. Like, there's nothing in this game that is useless. Everything has a purpose. Sometimes it's a very minor purpose, but it has a purpose indeed. I, I, I just knew. I just... I was waiting for the occasion to visit old guy and have him take all of my stuff. Because of course it has to do something. Like, it has to. It's the law. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna apply to the shortcut in the point that you don't need to get from here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look. Here. Oh. But wow! <laughs> Very straightforward. Hey. Got your feather. Does it not care? Maybe I need, like, touch up? There's like a small bit of land above it. Or... Hmm. Yeah, let's maybe need to like touch that bubble. Ah! Yeah, these will bring me back. Here, of all places. Okay. Hey, while I'm here! Okay, um... While I'm here... Whoa! There's something I want to try. There's another tablet I read that was like where it's smoldering, like basically the warmest spot place in the world. Like I've never went down. Uh, it says to sing sun and moon. I think this would make sense. Like fire treetop. Like it's a treetop. Is that the mystery to get to that room underneath? I don't know. Oh. It sure is! Uh, well, thanks. Look at that bird. Uh, well, there's a boss here. Uh, I'm gonna die, so you know what? Y'all have fun. Hey, unlock that place! Yeah, I was wondering how to get to that room below, and oh geez, this boss looks serious. Wasn't there a big deal about the bird on top? Like, he's the bird on the very top of the tree. I think there's something that's supposed to be a big deal about him, but I kind of forgot. Like, he gets mentioned here and there. Alright, so my theory... Is I need to go, like, directly underneath. Which, like, easier said than done? No, that's a big solid block. How do I... Hey! I got it. 
BB, you know how he wakes up if you got rat, the, the squirrel guy. Why can I not select this? There we go. Maybe. Alright, well, something was attempted. Uh, let's give this one honest shot at trying to accomplish something anywhere. It's not gonna happen, but I can try. I can just do that jump to get there with my spacesuit on. I think I can. Alright, let's give it a shot. Like, I don't think I need a double jump. Ugh. I might need a double jump. Okay, well, there's a possibility then that that's not meant to be a spacesuit opera. Really? Ooh, can I pick up the rose purple? Well, I shouldn't pick up, like, in, in, in the first game, you get penalized for picking up weird liquids in your vessel, so I guess I'm not gonna pick up the dirty water from here. Yeah, maybe it's that pedestal up there that removes that, because I don't think I can do it with a normal jump. I think I absolutely need a double jump, but there's more to explore here, though. Whoa, that's such. Wait, what? What's going on? What? Um. So the old man that, like that, uh, that's the old man I keep forgetting exists, and I spoke to last session. Yeah, and he kept speaking about how he was glad that he was going to die out of the underground. What a thing to just randomly spring on me! Let me, uh, I'm gonna finish my Explorado here, which might be some bad JoJo. If it's such a thing can be. But, uh... Yeah, I remember reading that. And I, I remember just getting out of Joe Pesci's house from there. There's some more stuff here. That's a return gate, though, but there's there's an up. All right, let's hope I don't die. I guess, but I got an I got an out there if I wanted. Please don't like destroy something. The younger brother of a man was murdered by a trickster. Asked to guard Mud God where his vessels be found when all wait for a brother. His revival will be permitted. Well, that's just sad. Is there anything of worth down there other than that blue gate? No, and there's spikes and enemies everywhere. Well, ah oh man, had I gone there, I could have gone there. Uh, oh, but I can do this though. That's something I want. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have a map, so I don't know where. It's from an eagle, Hellsberg. Yes, my husband wanders the Brazil. Oh, that's so good. Return to a body. Makes sense to me. So I feel like doing anything here is gonna get me killed, trapped, or something. So I'm gonna go inside this door. Hi! I've heard about you! But a beam simply exists here. Uh. Sure! <laughs> uh huh. Alright, yeah, what about the sky people? Hmm. And also, something about Camphor Twins, uh... Like, I'm not sure what I gained from this, other than lore. I mean, I guess that's cool. I'm gonna fall here like a moron. Yeah, well, that... Wait, how do I... get out, though? Oh, there we go. If I just run this rock... Oh, then you can just walk through. Okay, that's super weird. Uh, if I fall down there, do you think I'll have another chance at opening up that seal? 
No, yeah, I think I saw her. She's a giant lady, right? Oh, fall here. You can't go back up. Maybe? Like, I got a return door right there. Oh, no. Yes, I can only jump so, so high. Alright, next time I come here, I'm gonna take that ladder in order to escape. Uh, for now, I... Huh, so, same doors will bring you back down to the same places sometimes. Unless I used that door before? I don't think I did. Point is... Uh, Zelpa, did you hear about, about Old Man? No? Yeah. Wow. Okay. The hut is closed. Ah, oh, jeez, look, I gotta... I just come back from hell, I need to wash off a little bit. Don't mind me. Alright, washed off. A little bit. All I need. This is so sad! Like, look at that! He's... The old man has passed. And here I come, <laughs> exploding down from heaven. Oh, man. Zelpa has to do his job. This is... I mean, honestly, this is kind of cool. He explicitly says at some point, early in the game, how now they use this place for rituals. Try to speak to everyone there. This is extremely rude. <laughs> it sure is. It's like fruits over there. I feel this is appropriate. Man, okay. Who sent me that message? Samarantha. Yeah, they're right there. Man, who would have thought? Like, you know, you're just so used to thinking about this place as this weird, like, static place. Yeah, from what I understand, I think he died pretty happy. I don't think so. Giltorio? Giltorio? I guess he's gonna speak to me now. Okay. The Mulana. That strikes a memory. Maybe it's because it's called Mulana. <laughs> no, wait! It's the Takahama Jewel! Oh! It's kind of silly that I get the ability to break curses before I see any cursed chest, though. <laughs> Alright, that's... Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, and it's still, uh... Yeah. Wow. I, I'm just kind of... Astounded. All right, I am astounded that they they did this whole thing here. Ah, you doing okay? Can't speak to her. She's just mourning. I'll let her be. Man, man, isn't this wild? Uh, change the music a little bit. Really awkward for everyone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just kind of wobbling around camp here for reasons I can't describe. Uh, so, is there just like a time component in this game? Like a global time? I don't know. I don't know how to make, like, any of this. 